These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with a clear article, quote, Al-Awadi Al-Sudani's meeting with Biden will deepen understanding between Baghdad and Washington. The Iraqi government spokesman Al-Awadi confirmed U.S. President Joe Biden's invitation to Prime Minister Mohammed Shia Al-Sudani to visit Washington confirms the independence of the Prime Minister's approach to domestic and foreign policies and the high international appreciation he enjoys. The upcoming meeting will culminate in a policy of respecting mutual interests and deepening mutual understanding. All right, Samson has an article, quote, Iraqi PM al-Sudani to meet Biden at the White House soon, says Blinken Washington, worried over influence of Shiite mil- militias and wants Iraq to introduce reforms. Frank 26 question, HCL was given to the Iraqi citizens. Uh, Frank says, no, nothing is given to the Iraqi citizens until you get the new exchange rate. It's that simple. Mark Z, via PDK, an article dropped today is screaming shades of the Kuwaiti or the Kuwait RV. Mark Z says, this article is just like the one we saw coming out of Kuwait. Quote, Iraq PM's visit to the U.S. coincides with dollar exchange rate crisis. Mark Z says they are talking about external factors and the progress they have made. They are talking about the exchange rate is unstable. Similar articles dropped in Kuwait right before their RV. Uh, The rate is only unstable right now because they haven't released the new rate. Pimpy article, quote, it seems clear and practical. New York Times, al-Sudani won the support of Iraqis. If you ask me, it's still out there on the limb. There has been protest people not talking about it, but I will admit he definitely seems to be getting things on track for Iraq. Militiaman says this UN assembly goes on for quite a few days. It goes all the way out to the 23rd, then a final day on the 26th. Iraq is going to showcase themselves this next Friday. Right. Angel 1 says, I am uh, zero concerned about HCL. Yesterday, I do believe the Kurds' issues were resolved officially. We see some very strong rumblings that HCL is done. We have seen a few articles on it. We are, we are having translated for us. On Friday, it was announced on the radio that it was going to be resolved on Sunday and activated. All right, Bruce Fia Weiser now says, we got a visit from Prime Minister Sudani from Iraq. He met with President Trump and a few others uh, in an undisclosed location that I know where it is, and I think it was going to, it was just going over last minute stuff. But he flew back, Prime Minister Sudani flew back to Iraq, is going to bring out news of the revaluation of Iraqi Jannar to his people on Wednesday. He said, This week will be a miracle week. He said, Not only for the country of Iraq, but for the entire world. Bruce goes on to say that Prime Minister al-Sudani is telling us the RV we're looking for is going to happen this week. He's talking about putting out the new rate change, which would be an international rate, not our rate that we're going to get, but an international rate of the new Iraqi dinar in the printed version of the Gazette on Wednesday. So between 8 a.m. in the morning and 8 p.m. tomorrow, it is supposed to be our payday. It's supposed to be the day we get started with our exchanges. Caperoni says Iraq is having a very difficult time managing the market rate from the official rate of the CBI. It's over 20% at this time at almost 1,600 dinars to one U.S. dollar, way out of IMF compliance. Nader from the Mideast says, I'm sure you saw Sudani invited by Biden. That's a good thing. I'm sure you saw Iraqi government reduced his bonds with the United States by $400 million. That's great news. Most important thing, when Sudani said he's going to reduce the corruption big time, you know what I mean? I'll let you guess. We're working, working, working. I'm happy about that. What's happening today in Iraq and in the world, I am very happy about. Frank 26 says the seesaw just teeters and totters. The ocean waves just ebb and flow, flows. Nothing ever changes, but everything will dramatically change the moment you have the new exchange rate that Sudani and Alak have told the Iraqi citizens very, very clearly is coming. Militiaman says during this time frame, we've had some key components that were needed to be sorted. We've been talking about this for a while. The 23rd, 24th, 25th tripartite budget has 
not been spending any money, hasn't allocated any money, that's going to be resolved. And lastly, Mark Z via PDK, his Sadani's first speech at the UN was way was more on the military situation, security, etc. for the region. Latest reports are that he is now expected to talk again on Friday and address the UN, then hurry home. There is a lot of speculation that he will announce a rate or that they are going international with their currency when he gives that speech when he gives that speech. So cross your fingers, say your prayers that this will come to fruition.